Hello everyone, welcome to another Star Wars Duel the Public video and for this video I'm going to be going through the new ability animations that were actually released finally in the dev livestream. We've been getting some teases in terms of gifts on the Twitter uh, but they, didn't, they only gave us like four ability animations. Finally we have the full set of them here. That's what, you'll be, that's what you'll see playing in the background of this video and over it I'm just going to be narrating what the new ability is and a little bit of information about it. But for the most part I'll keep it short because a lot of you guys are probably here just to see the ability animations. So firstly this one is Reaping strike it's a high damage single target ability on a 15 second cooldown only usable from stealth or within 15 seconds of landing a critical hit so there's going to be some strategy in there but should definitely help with their burst ability uh, the assassins and jedi shadows are the ones who are getting this new ability the next one are the new animations for Ravage and Blade Dance. This one's actually a little bit disappointing because from my experience, I really, really enjoy the animations for Ravage and Blade Dance. They're probably some of the nicest animations in the game and it really made you feel like you were a Jedi or a Sith who was really skilled at using a lightsaber. Unfortunately, now that three second animation is gone, we do have a single target ability that has no cast time. Ultimately, this is a buff obviously because it's really gonna be increasing your mobility. Now you can do a really high damage ability in a matter of a second however um we are losing the animation nonetheless this new animation does look pretty cool so i think they compensated for that pretty well the next one you see here is only applying to juggernauts and guardians uh this new ability is called hue it replaces vicious throw and it does it does a little bit more than vicious throw in that it is a little bit more damage and it actually hinders the movement of your enemy and it is usable from a 30 meter range I'm not sure why in the gift they decided to have the character so close to the enemy, it would have been nice to see them go farther away and actually use that 30 meter range, but nonetheless this is how the ability animation looks. Nothing too new, it's just an ability that replaces an old one. The next one is only available for Marauders in the Carnage Discipline and obviously then the Mirror for the Sentinels. Uh, this one is called Gore or Lance. It is a high damage ability that does two things. It hinders the movement of your enemy and also reduces their armor. Now, on the official post, it says that Gore is a new ability, but apparently from what I've read in the comment sections, it already exists in the game, but I'm just reading whatever is off of the dev post. It says it's a new ability for the Carnage Discipline. Alright, the next one is Mame. Uh, this one is just a stun. Once again, it replaces the stuns right now that the snipers and the gunslingers have, because the stuns they have right now is only usable from a 4 meter range. And now they're giving them a stun that is usable from a 10 meter range. So basically now instead of like stabbing the person with a viber knife, they kind of just hurl a viber knife at them. Once again, this is meant to kind of really solidify snipers and gunslingers as being a ranged class. So now they can stun an enemy for 4 seconds from range, which is uh, really going to help them fight those melee characters a lot better. Uh, the next one is Toxic Haze. This is one that I'm actually really, really excited for because finally operatives and scoundrels are getting a good AoE ability. Right now, like I really used to enjoy playing operative, but we ha honestly have such a sucky ab AoE ability. We have this thing called like Carabine Burst, which does absolutely zero damage. Nobody ever uses it in my experience, but now finally we're actually getting a pretty good ability. Uh, what it is is it uses a tactical advantage and it drops a canister at your feet, dealing AoE for six seconds. But if you're in the heal spec, so if you're medicine, then you can actually use this from 30 feet away but the point is um, uh, um, operatives that are concealment or lethal lethality they're pretty much melee uh, characters so obviously they're going to have a melee type of aoe ability nonetheless finally a good aoe ability that hopefully will have some cool utility associated with it as well like maybe if you use aoe it spreads your dots or something like that but we'll see if that comes in the utilities later on the next one is also something to get really excited for if you play mercenary or commando. And this is probably one of the reasons that mercenaries and commandos are gonna be pretty overpowered with patch 5.0. They have a new defensive ability called responsive safeguards. Now this thing does all three of these. Firstly, it absorbs all single target damage. It reflects 50% of it back to the enemy and then heals you for 5% after each attack is absorbed. So it's got that triple whammy going on. It absorbs damage, reflects damage, and heals you. That's going to be pretty OP. I think it's really going to change the game when it comes to uh, mercenaries and arenas. And I think that's what it was actually pretty much catered for because mercs get wrecked in arenas. It's been a huge problem, especially for any of those players that play ranked PvP. But now this is really going to change the tide of, the, of that battle. And um, it's going to make them pretty OP. Although when you compare it to some of the defensive abilities that other classes have, like Sorks have that 10 second bubble that also heals them to full juggernauts have a heal the full uh other classes do have some pretty op healer abilities so it's nice to see mercs getting some love as well 
The next one here is Searing Wave. Now this one's not too new, it's just going to replace Flamethrower for Power Attacks. And once again, it looks like it's not a channeled ability. So um, it's once again, Power Attacks are maintaining their mobility. They're allowed to have all of their um, abilities that are usable just on one galactic cooldown. There's no real channeled ability. But nonetheless, if you did enjoy using Flamethrower as a Power Attack, you're no longer going to have access to it. Which is unfortunate because Power Attacks are still Bounty Hunters. And one of the most iconic abilities that should be given to Bounty Hunters are Flamethrowers. But this is the new ability animation for Searing Wave. The next one here is Deadly Onslaught. So once again, this is all Power Attack exclusive. Uh, this one's going to replace Death from Above. Um, now the new ability animation looks really really nice. I love how the missiles are just shooting out of your back But also I really did love death from above because um, that once again that really made use of your jetpack as a mercenary Now when you use death from above you jetpack up and you shoot a bunch of missiles out of your arms That was really cool because it was using that jetpack once again a really iconic part of being a bounty hunter is using that jetpack However, I'm not complaining because the new animation for deadly onslaught looks really nice Finally shatter slug. So this is once again the power text uh, ability that is going to replace Explosive Dart. It also does a lot more damage than Explosive Dart. And, um, and that basically concludes it. Those were the new ability animations and a little bit of information about what that ability is. I do hope you guys enjoyed the video. I really enjoyed seeing all of these new things and I'm really excited for this patch 5.0 and seeing how some of these ability animations look in PvP. I'll see you in the next one.